Street King says, I'll be there trying to make a ruckus while he trying to call plays. Let's hope we show up and get that home field away advantage. Yeah, man. Um, so the other the other comment that I wanted to bring up, and I actually paused the podcast because I didn't want to skip it so I could refer back to it. Maybe I'll talk about it on the podcast for tomorrow or the next day or whatever, because um, I haven't listened to it. But there was a guy who did a study with some corporation or whatever. This was on the CBS football podcast or whatever. And they were talking about home field advantage, and he kind of said home field advantage is a little bit overrated. There isn't that much of a home field advantage. Um, depending on the sport, some sports, there's more than other. Soccer, I think they said, is the biggest home field or the lowest. I don't really remember. But um, they said the biggest thing with football is just noise. It's not so much the home field advantage. It's, it's dependent entirely on noise. So if you're a quiet stadium, no home field advantage. If you are a really loud, you know, like 12th man it, back in the day with the Seahawks, Massive advantage. And what they actually said, and this, this matters a lot to Packer fans because of the whole discussion, some people got mad when we all started talking about you need to be making noise on defense, you need to be quiet on offense, um, you know, how dare you tell me how to be a fan, and I paid for these tickets. Listen, what he said is it's like a two-point advantage for the team, which doesn't seem like much, but you're, you're giving your own team two points if you can just make noise when you're supposed to make noise and be quiet when you're on offense. You're, you're, you're showing up and you're gifting your team a safety. So it matters. Absolutely. If you're going, man, go make some noise. 